Hey, so I've currently done a bit over a year of my PhD in physics and machine learning. And let me just tell you that the first one or two years of your PhD is just a massive learning curve. And now when I'm looking back and reflecting, I realize that there are so many things that I wish someone had told me right from the start. So in this video I want to share with you the tips and lessons that I have learned to make the start of your PhD journey a bit easier. Here we go. So, the first thing I want you to know is that everyone's journey is unique, so don't compare yourself. This is a bit contradictory because I'll be giving you advice throughout this entire video, but it's important to know that what worked for someone during your PhD may not work for you. Like, people are different, we work differently, we think differently, and a PhD is an extremely individual journey. Because it's kind of like you're putting a part of yourself into the pieces. It's not like when you're doing a course and people tell you, okay, these are the things you have to know and this is what we're gonna test you on. But no, no, no. The PhD is all about you, who you are. And because everyone's unique, the best way forward is going to be tailored to you specifically. And no one else can find that but you. That being said, it doesn't hurt to take advice because some of that advice might actually resonate and help you. All I'm saying is that remember that PhD is your own journey. Some people might have a paper after first year, some people might not have that until the end of their PhD. And that is okay because everyone's journey is unique. Second thing that I wish that I had known is that the topic is important, but also it isn't. Let me explain. So it's very important that you're interested in what you're doing, but when I was looking for PhD positions, I was just too focused on the topic. I would think this is like 80% of what I want to do, but it's not 100% so I shouldn't do it. And that is the wrong approach, because once you are in a PhD, your supervisor is mostly okay with you switching the topic a little bit. You have a lot more freedom than you think you do. So it's important that you find a topic and place that fits you, but know that once you start a PhD, almost everyone switch topic and no one is really working on what they thought it would be. Working on. Another lesson that I wish I'd known is that being confused is normal. Like it takes a long time to become familiar with the subject, the field and learn all of the methods that we're going to use. I know people who spend six months or even a year of their PhD just reading, learning, like being confused, not knowing what to do. And then towards the end of their PhD they had enormous success, even if they felt like they completely wasted the first half of their PhD. So don't panic if you feel confused, it's completely normal, and if you just continue learning and working, you're going to figure it out. So, Fourth point that's very important is that communication is key. This is something I was heard when I was studying that it doesn't matter how smart or talented you are, it's the person who can communicate better who gets hired for a position. And this is completely true. Like, it doesn't matter if you have great knowledgeable or coding skills, if you can't communicate your research and why it's important, people are not going to care about you. Like, it's a hard to learn, but even if you write amazing papers, you still need to present them to people and be engaging for them to take notice. I mean, you don't have to be amazing at speaking or anything, like the standards are not that high, people often value the quality of the work a lot, but you still need to spend a significant amount of time learning how to explain things and communicate your research for further work. So the fifth point that I want to share is, it's never too late. So if you are a PhD student and watching this and you're thinking, oh man, I wasted so much time that I completely failed. Okay, don't worry. I think that research can be hard because there is not a straight path forward followed and you kind of have to figure out the path yourself. And some people never do. I even know postdocs who don't know what they're doing with their research. So it's never too late to save your work and find your way in your PhD. And even if you feel like you haven't done much, you still learn what not to do. So you've already taken the necessary steps forward towards achieving your goal. So number six is set your own deadlines. So there's this good and bad thing in research that there really aren't any deadlines because people care a lot more about the quality of your project rather than having it finished at a certain deadline. This is good because it means you can work for a long time on something and make it really good. But at the same time you kind of have to publish it to get anywhere. So what I find helpful is to set my own deadlines, so I think, okay, I want to have this paper out by this year, what different parts of the project needs to be done at what time for this to happen, and I take the necessary steps to achieving that, and 
I find that this works very well for me, so I recommend that you also try So number seven is always think how do I make this better. Sometimes when new PhD students start, they look at what previous students have done and they think, hmm, I can do that. Which is true, but since you are the future, you must always look at what has already been done and think, how do I make this thing better? How can I improve upon this knowledge and work that is already there and take the next step forward in the development? Because there is no point in redoing something that is already there. You need to think how to make it better, how to make something new. That is your job as a researcher. So my final tip is try and enjoy it. Like doing a PhD comes with a lot of pressure and you can feel lost, especially if you're new to a city or even country and you don't know anyone. But try and build a kind of support network that you can go and talk to if you feel lost or stuck in your work. For me, my friends and senior students and postdocs have always helped me immensely in enjoying the journey. So don't panic if you're going to have a great time. If you watched this far, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe because I'm trying to found my PhD with this YouTube channel. And I'll see you in whatever other video you decide to watch. Bye!